My name is Raquel, and I am a tuba rank leader for the UDMB. Hi, my name is Drew Hunt. I play the snare drum, and I'm the drum captain here. Hello, my name is Frankie Jaquette. I am part of the tuba section in the marching band. I'm going to be answering some academic-related questions for you today. The first one being, are there any tests or quizzes? So, lucky for you, there are no written tests or quizzes. What comes to mind is, usually like in a regular season, we'll have at least one uh, playing test. Where basically Sarv or assigned you and your section an excerpt usually from the show. You will record yourself both playing and doing visuals and submit that, showing her that you you know the show. That sounds really scary, but it's really not. It'll most likely just be a small excerpt from one of the pieces, maybe one of the harder parts, and it's really just to make sure that you're learning the music so that we can sound really great as a band. And you really shouldn't stress about that because your section leaders and the grad assist student assistants are there to help you through all of that and make it super easy for you guys. In the drum line, uh, we don't have any exams or assessments. I think most of the grade, if not all of the grade, comes from attendance. Hi, I'm Natasha Gervich. I'm in the color guard. Hi, I'm Erin. I am the baritone music section leader. And I'll be answering the question, how much time does band take up during the week? So on a typical week, we'll rehearse three times, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 4 to 6 p.m. And since band is a class that you register for, that's our regularly scheduled class time. And then we have our football games on Saturdays, which are usually uh, early in the, early in the morning, around like 7 o'clock, and then we uh, play the games up till in the afternoon. A lot of times you do take some time by yourself to practice some of the music, but that's really not too much time commitment during the week either. Other weekends um, we'll have other performances, maybe uh, parades or high school exhibitions, and there's also some weekends where we have nothing for band and we're totally free. Hello, my name is Matt. I play the clarinet. First question I'll be answering is, what do I do if I have a common exam period from 5 to 7 p.m.? Will I be excused from rehearsal early? Yes, this happens a lot. Many students have common exam times from 5 to 7, and on weeks when this happens, usually only two or three times when you have an exam, you'll come to band at 4 o'clock and you'll leave at 4.45. Just be aware of a few things. First, there's a sign-out sheet underneath the podium where the head drum major is standing throughout the rehearsal, so you would Go to that spot and you'll find the sign-up sheet, sign your name, write the reason why you're leaving. Just be aware you cannot sign out sooner than 45 minutes into the rehearsal. That's just the policy. However, it is important that you contact SARV, you contact the GAs, and you contact your section leaders telling them that you will not be there for the entirety of rehearsal. They will understand and it will all work out. And you'll probably notice that there are other students in the band that are in the same class and have the same exam as you. Hi, my name is Jess. I'm a junior music education major and I play the piccolo in the marching band. Hi there, my name is Adam and I play the tuba or the sousaphone in band. And if you're worried that you're gonna be taking too many classes your freshman year and you won't be able to figure out how to do band, I wouldn't be too concerned about that. Personally, I related to this freshman year. I was taking 18 credits with marching bands and it was a lot. But one thing that I found was the best way to manage my time was to plan everything and sync up the Canvas calendar to my Google calendar. That way I knew when everything was and I knew where my deadlines were. It might get to be a bit of a, uh, a squeeze in the amount of time that you have for things, but I found that if you schedule out your day, you say, I'm gonna do this assignment now, then I'm gonna go to band practice, then maybe I'll hang out with friends, and then I'll have another two hours to study for my exam tomorrow. That helps. If you block out your day so you know you have time to do the things you need to do and you follow that schedule that you've set, at, uh, set for yourself, then you can still make it through. That's how I made it through freshman year. Also, I recommend seeing band as sort of a break from your work. It's really important to take breaks while we work. It helps our brain, it helps our bodies. Um, 
band gets you outside, it gets you moving, gets you with your friends, and you're doing something that's really rewarding while also being really fun and just exciting. It's a really good break and a really good escape from all of your work. Hi, um, my name is Erin. I am the baritone music section leader. I am an honors marine science major with an oceanography concentration. And um, I have, I currently have a minor in applied music on euphonium. I'm about to add a minor in um, marine geosciences or geology. Hello, my name is Adam. I played the tuba and right now I'm a double major with a music minor. I'm an insect major with a plant science double major and I do all that in addition to band. And you may think that that's a lot of things to do, but at least in my situation, it's still very possible. I myself am a German education and music education double major. Marching band really works well, I think, with having a big class load because it's more in the evening, so a lot of your classes that are in the morning don't really conflict with it. Of course, it's, it's, it's challenging sometimes. I'm taking at least 18 credits, which is the maximum credits you can take. Uh, every semester and it's it's not the easiest but if you figure out the time that you have in the day and you partition that time so that you are spending uh, with as much efficiency as possible your time in the day you might lose some sleep but I've personally have only lost sleep because I was just hanging out with friends for too long not doing homework staying up at night uh, but just stay focused on your work and keep in mind that you only have so much time in the day so make good use of it personally the semesters where I'm not doing band, and sometimes I even have like less credit load, um, it's hard for me to stay on track of actually being motivated to continue to do things versus when we're like in band and we have to lock out this time three times a week for band. You know you're gonna like finish your assignments or go to, or schedule your classes and schedule other things during the other times. Even if you do end up having with your heavy course load because of your double major if or you, with a minor, you end up having a course conflict, that is totally okay. Professor Sarver and Professor Ancona are more than willing to work with their students. I have seen several of my friends in the past who have had class conflicts with certain times at marching band and they've been able to either leave early or come late and that's n absolutely no problem. Um, the next question I'm going to be answering is about if you're an education major with band. That works unbelievably well. So many people within the UDMB are education majors, specifically music education majors. It's actually a requirement for music education majors to take two semesters of marching band. And so marching band, the schedule really lines up well with the education courses because the Office of Clinical Studies has planned for that to happen. So there's no real class conflicts with marching band in terms of an education major. I am a math education major and I've done marching band all four years. I haven't really come across any issues in terms of course conflicts or anything like that. The only thing you might need to be aware of is making sure that your field placements at local schools that make sure that they don't overlap with marching band in terms of timing. Again, from my experience, that was never an issue. My field, my field placements were always in the morning and marching band rehearsals in the afternoon. I just want to talk about how marching band has helped me understand what it means to be a teacher. Pretty much by showing leadership, getting to know the people that you work with, the, the members of your section. And so having these ideas of leadership and teamwork in, in, in your head as you train to become a teacher, it's so important that you, you treat your students the same way, you train your students with respect, caring about their interests outside of school, um, just, just talking to them like they're human beings. So whether you're a music ed major or a non-music ed major, um, definitely just keep sticking with marching band because I feel that, yeah, marching band's very fun, but at the same time, it also helps you with professional development. Hello, my name is uh, Samuel. I am a rank leader in the trumpet section of the UDMB. The first question that I'm gonna be talking about is, what's it like being a non-music major in band? And like, first of all, I wanna preface it with that this is basically the majority of the band. Like we have hundreds of people in our band and only a like, small percentage of them are like directly music majors. Um, we have people from 
every different area that you can think of. If you are not a music major, don't be concerned about not being able to join marching band because probably about half the people in marching band are not music majors. Some of the best players in marching band <clears throat> are not music majors. But that doesn't mean that they can't have a good time with the rest of the music majors. We all have a great time together. Um, if you're not the best at your instrument, that's also okay. Uh, the section leaders support each other. They support you. We help each other out. If you're great at your instrument, even better. Uh, we all like playing together no matter our major. I personally am a neuroscience major and I have a, a biology minor and a sexuality and gender studies minor. Um, and so none of what I'm studying is directly related to music, but music is something that has always been really important to me and a big part of my life. And I love that marching band gives me that place where I can, you know, turn off from my ac what my academics are focused on and be a part of a community that is like, you know, a different type of expression, different kind of thinking. It's like very nice break from if you're in like an intensive major. So it's very, very doable and a wonderful thing to have uh, non-music majors in our band. Hello, my name is Austin. I'm a junior and I play the trumpet. My question is about um, the honors program and band. So usually there are no conflicts with band and classes um, and any classes, any conflicts that you do have um, will always be able to be worked out between the professor and SARF. I personally have found that the Honors College and Marching Band doesn't really conflict. In fact, a lot of the people in Marching Band are also in the Honors College. Uh, when I lived on campus in Lewis Reading Hall, which is the Honors dorm, uh, a lot of, I knew a lot of other people in Marching Band that were also living with me, other freshmen living with me in the dorm. Um, so you'll make a lot of honors friends through Marjorie Band, I'll tell you that. And it's a great experience that the two of them don't really conflict. Additionally, the honors program also schedules events every week that are optional, so you can always plan around those and figure out how to work those into your schedule if you want to attend them. So I've been in the honors uh, college for three years now, and you know, that comes a lot of times with a heavier course load and more intensive classes which can be daunting and like the concept of doing this extracurricular activity that is definitely takes up some time in your week uh, can be a lot for some people on top of honors college but again i fully believe that is very doable i think it's the kind of thing that again people are very understanding that people will work with you if you're having any challenges, um, I think it's very important for, you know, being in the Honors College. A lot of times academics can be very prioritized and it's a, a, like it can weigh on people a lot. And I think it's good to have that kind of outlet like the uh, UDMB to give, like that's something that I've experienced is it's the place that I go to to de-stress and be able to like detach from my academic focuses. The final question I'm gonna be answering for you guys today is about um, the high academic standard and what the minimum grade requirement is. As far as I'm aware, there's no minimum grade requirement to participate in the UDMV, although they do offer scholarships some semesters. And so for that, you do have to have a minimum of a 2.0 GPA to be considered for those. One of the most important things you learn about being in the band here at UD is how to effectively manage your time. So keeping track of your classes, your schoolwork, and being in the band will help ensure that you are able to uphold any academic requirements for things like scholarships or maintaining uh, a GPA. And as always, if you uh, need any help, always feel free to ask an upperclassman. And it's just really nice to keep on top of your academics with marching band. Marching band isn't meant to take away from your other academics and it really it does help when you keep on top of those because then you can come to marching band with a clear mind and be ready to go.